So, thanks to uh, groups like Black Lives Matters and, uh, you know, other terrorist groups, uh, maybe like uh, Islam, for example, uh, especially radical Islam. I don't even consider, uh, you know, Islam even a religion. When you get down to it, it's more of a type of government. If you study it, it's not a religion, man. Uh, it, uh, all the roots and everything go back to not just a, a belief system, but a, a, a set of rules and laws, legal laws and codes, a, a form of government. So I don't, I don't have uh, any uh, respect for, uh, for, for the, the Muslim faith because I don't even think it is a type of religion. It's just an ideology of, uh, of conquer and overcome others and uh, radical everything. So are there good people that are Muslim? I'm sure there are. There's good people in anything. But, uh, but I think that, um, I mean, I'm just going to try to stick with the word radical Islam, uh, are, are big problems. So you got them and you got these idiot, uh, Black Lives Matter terrorists running around causing shit, killing people, getting together with, uh, Black Panthers and Black Power Groups and all this crazy shit. We got immigrants and, you know, they call them immigrants, but they're illegal, uh, illegal immigrants running around, coming over our border and tens of thousands potentially a day. And, you know, that's just how it is in America right now. It's so, uh, so great. So, uh, this doesn't so much apply to me immediately at this moment, but for all you urbanites, people are in, you know, suburbanites too, that, you know, live in this freaking city, God help you live in the damn sub suburbs, get the hell out. But if you can't, and if you don't want to, and you just don't really care, and you're going to wait till the last minute and all shit falls through the floor. Uh, maybe you can at least get a few things together to be a little bit more prepared. So what kind of things can you do to get prepared? Well, you can get a real good quality um, uh, in terms of just I'm just talking about some some basic riot gear or basic types of things you can get uh, to help protect yourself. If there is a, uh, some civil disturbance and maybe a riot, or if you're caught up into some of the, uh, this crap that tends to happen, uh, hopefully you'll have the, the knowledge and the forethought to get the hell away from these groups when they start to form. But if you don't have any recourse, you might want to carry a few of these items in their car, even maybe even a backpack, if it's that much of a probability. I took a, a really good quality uh, a bike helmet, okay? And I spray painted it several layers of this matte black. That's why you can still see some of the straps because underneath and on the inside, it's not been painted. You could paint the whole thing. I put the uh, the foam insert so it's very cushiony, very comfortable. And uh, voila, you have a basic, very simple riot helmet. Is it is it bullet resistant? No. Is it going to resist a big machete going through your, your skull? No. You know, so um, it just gives you a, a way to have some a ventilated helmet that has pretty big, you know, pretty good impact resistant. I mean, it, it's pretty freaking de decent. You know, you get yourself a, the best one you can afford, obviously. Uh, let me just look in here and see if I find any brands. It's been a while. Uh, let's see here. This says this helmet was designed for bicycle, skateboards, inline skaters, and roller skates only. Uh, blah blah blah. Do not use this for climbing or other doing other activities. Blah blah blah. So it says it's not supposed to be used, but damn, this thing is super. Man, it's got this uh, decent uh, plastic shell on the outside, and at least I'm thinking, man, at least an inch of really decent hard hard foam, and then on top of that, maybe a quarter of an inch of other foam. I'm telling you, you could probably get hit pretty hard with this and not, not get a concussion. That's part one. Number two, and this is outside of having a gas mask and having your own protection items, you know, personal protections, firearms, and maybe a baseball bat or maybe a large canister of bear spray. All those things we'll have to just talk about later or you'll figure it out. But this is going to be mainly for your face area. I should have probably said that to begin with. Okay, the next item. You want this is just what I would use. This is a bole or B O L L E. I guess that's how you would say it. Very excellent, high quality. This is a military grade. This is the tactical. Uh, and so this is actually a let me read it here a Z87. I believe that's what it is Z87 plus rated. Now I have looked that up. I remember that. Uh, this is very highly, highly impact resistant. This meets military specs. 
uh, has this um, uh, great ventilation. It has this uh, rubber uh, cupping system around your face. It has quick access on and off. It's a Velcro straps on each side. And then it has this, this protective case that slides around and over the lens when it's not in use. I just pulled it back so you can see it. But uh, full, full range of vision on these and uh, I don't think these were that expensive because I'm a cheap ass so I wouldn't have spent that much but man this is some good stuff the bowl a these the also this company also makes very high quality um, you know ski goggles and stuff so yeah you can see here there's some foam in there and then there's a rubber so there's good ventilation so it's supposed to be more like an anti-fogging uh, you know system and I agree I've worn these quite a few times and um, they work really well. They don't fog up very much at all. So I would invest in something like this. I think these were between like $20 and $30 at most. I think I got them on a really good deal. Botac Tactical is a, is a place I think that sometimes carries these. And you can just go on Amazon and other places. That's part two. Protect your eyes. So you got the helmet to protect your cranium and all those things working up there, your eyes. And then lastly... If you don't have a gas mask, of course, if you did, then you probably would want to go with uh, uh, putting that on when, besides these goggles. But if you don't have the gas mask, go with these two things we've talked about, plus this third item. And that's just basically a, a nice bandana. You could also go with like a face uh, respirator, uh, an N95 or an N99 or N100 uh, respirator. Uh, you can go more advanced, but uh, bare bones. Get yourself a bandana or even an oversized bandana or a shamog too. Shamogs would work. And you could use this to put over your face. Um, of course, if they're throwing shit and, and, you know, the police are, you know, shooting tear gas, you probably would want to dampen this to help, uh, to uh, you know, the, the moisture to absorb some of those gases so you don't have to breathe the shit in your lungs and get burning sensations. So what do you got to do? Take your two items, your, uh, your goggles and your bandanas. You put it in your freaking, uh, uh, your, your helmet there, and uh, you can put it in your pack or put it in a satchel or a duffel bag and put it in your car in case of emergency. Small footprint here, or, and uh, it's going to give you some basic options to get the hell out and, and not, 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 you know, walk away with a concussion or go unconscious while people pick your pocket and, uh, you know. So some people might call you a racist because you have these things. But, uh, you know, if we didn't have all the terrorists and racists uh, uh, going on, starting this crap in America, we wouldn't have to think about this kind of stuff. I mean, I, I hate talking about this stuff. I hate even thinking that we have to even have these kind of conversations. But apparently there's a lot of uh, very ignorant people in America that think that all these changes need to be made in the American way of life is a bunch of shit even though they live here. If they don't like it, and if anybody doesn't like America, then leave the freaking country. I like my freedoms. I like the Constitution. I don't believe that these uh, founding fathers that we've had are these, these horrible slave-owning people and shit. This is, this is crazy shit. You know, they're, they're making everybody's a racist and everybody has uh, all these problems. Yes, history is full of, of a lot of crap, and there's a lot of bad things that have happened in any country. You know? But you don't really hear about the, the blacks in Africa selling other blacks to whites and selling them to other blacks. Every culture has enslaved themselves, and every culture and every nationality has been a slave at some point, including Anglo-Saxons and white people or whatever. Indians have done it. You got all kinds of damn people have been slaves throughout history. So this, this whole thing about, you know, everybody has to be so poor, poor Mexicans or, oh, poor black people. You know what? You can get off your ass and make a difference and make a change. You know, this whole thing about uh, uh, that white people have all this white privilege, that's complete bunk. That's all bullshit. Don't let the liberal mentality, this this liberal utopianism, uh, you know, based in playing off your emotions with no facts or logic, dictate anything in your life. They have zero, zero, uh, you know, attention from me. I, I think they're just like, they're just like little ants on the floor. They're just stupid. They're ignorant. And uh, I just want you all to be safe. And, you know, if you have to do shit like this just to feel a little more confident, then do it. Spend a few bucks. Get a few pieces of gear together so that, you know, you can protect your body and your family in case you get caught up in this crap. 
I go the next level and, and, and do more things for personal protection. Besides this, definitely some pepper spray, firearm, hell, maybe even bullet-resistant vest if you live really in an urban area. You can't ever be too prepared. There's no such thing as that. This whole ideology, too, too that, you know, people are just paranoid. and No, it's not paranoid. People are freaking dying. Officers are being shot uh, sometimes, by, you know, uh, from behind, you know, and in their head. So, you know, the reality is what it is. I'd first tell you to move, though, but uh, that's my opinion. Thanks for watching.